I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins with the opening market minute for Monday, October 28th. Soybeans and corn are down in the early going, expecting the USDA to report good harvest progress in this afternoon's weekly crop progress and condition numbers. We're expecting a pretty decent week-to-week gain for corn and soybeans could be close to 90%. And given weather is expected to be generally dry in much of the Midwest and Plains into mid-month, many areas could wrap up in the very near future, probably just after Halloween. And uh, both corn and soybeans are also watching planting conditions in South America, with the pace recently picking up steam in Brazil following rainfall. Wheat's mixed, mostly modestly higher, a little bit oversold and due for a bounce, trying to find some new demand around these price levels. USDA's next round of supply, demand, and production numbers is out November 8th. Live and feeder cattle are lower, watching the distribution of this week's direct cash cattle show list while digesting last week's USDA cattle on feed numbers. Those numbers were pretty close to expectations with the on-feed total down slightly on the year, placements up and marketings down. And hogs are mostly modestly higher on Friday's higher close in pork, but there are a lot of uncertainties about sustained domestic demand. With the opening market minute for Monday, October 28th, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins.